In order to draw, you need to get a basic understanding of fold theory, and that is you have to keep the surface area and the length of fabric the same. So when you, the ends get closer, the rope has to bend to maintain the same length. As the ends get closer, the top and bottom edge have to bend to maintain the same length, and also the fabric has to maintain the same surface area. Although the bottom, the middle of the bottom edge, the distance from between that and the top corner has to maintain the same, so that's why the bottom edge doesn't bend the same way as the top edge does. Folds follow contours of 3D shapes from tension point to tension point, and there are secondary forms that branch out from there. So start practicing a lot. The process that I did was you find a reference, you draw the figure, and then you find the tension points to try to get an understanding of how the folds work, and then you make a a neutral base and draw and fill out the the clothing then you find the biggest simplest shapes and then you start shading and, and putting in your highlights and then you start putting the fine details so I used myself as the reference I drew my myself the best way I could on my own and then I just went over the reference and just traced it to make corrections and I'm just focusing on the, the shirt so I put in the, I found a neutral color, filled in the shirt, and I even blurred out the reference photo so I can just really see the overall shapes in, uh, of the highlights and shadows. And then I started filling in those large shapes into my drawing, and then I slowly start refining uh, parts and pieces, or uh, and then smooth it out. Here's an example where I draw on top of the reference photo. And so I just look at it, I make the base shirt, and if I ever need a, a reference, I can just look myself and put on the shirt and take a picture. So that's, that's the benefit of using yourself as a reference. And after I get the neutral color, like a, like a light red, I make the layer opacity like 70% so I can see through and see the highlights on the skin so I can mimic that on the outer layer. And same thing, just try to find the big shapes of the shadows and the highlights and then just go back and forth and try, until uh, you render it. You just go, do the details last.